Hi everyone, hope that you all are doing well. So today we will be discussing about the new version update of Spring Boot and Java to our already existing project of OAuth 2. If you haven't watched the previous video, the link would be in the description, please go and watch it. If you people find my videos knowledgeable and if you gain some knowledge out of my videos, please do like, share, comment on the videos and if new to the channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon. So let me first open up the uh, changes that, uh, sorry, the previous uh, project versions that we were using. So I am on my GitHub repository and I am on my project of OR2 custom uh, registration. Uh, I can go to my pull request. So there was a pull request by someone for, uh, for contribution. Right, I have merged that pull request into my main. So let me first show you that what all, what all versions we were using for Java and Spring Boot uh, previously and what changes have been done now. So, so if I go by file changes and if you see the changes in the pom.xml So we were using previously the version of Spring as 2.7.4 that is 2.x. So I was using 2.x version of uh, Spring Boot and the Java version was 1.8. right? So uh, now this has been updated, the versions of the project has been updated. Special thanks to one of the contributors Sebastian Cantor for his contribution to this project. Uh, you people can also become the contributors of the project and also if you want uh, me to be a part of your project you can ping me on LinkedIn. Let's discuss what changes were proposed in this PR. right? So if you can see that uh, previously we were using the version of Spring as 2.7.4 and the Java version was 1.8. right? So now the changes that are being done uh, are 3.2.5. The Spring version has been updated to 3.2.5. So the version is now 3.x. So now, now onwards, we'll be using 3.x version of Spring in each project that we'll be developing, right? And we have jumped from 1.8 to 21 Java version 21. So I've already discussed in the some of my previous videos that uh, we jumped from uh, Java version 1.8 to 1, uh, 11, and then from 11 we jumped to 17, right? So all those changes are there on some some of the projects, some of my previous videos. So if you go and watch, you will uh, know that what all changes were there when we uh, jumped from 1.8 to 11 version and then to the 17 version. Now in this project, we are using version 21, right? So as the versions are being changed, like the Java version is being changed and the Spring Boot version is being changed. So the Spring security supported by uh, the version of Spring 3.x 3 uh, was Spring Security 6, right? So now the Spring Security 6 has been uh, required to be changed, right? So we were using a dependency of Theme Leaf. So Theme Leaf had a security dependency of 5, right? So now we have to update that Theme Leaf dependency. So we have also changed the dependency in our Maven uh, in our pom.xml, right? So these were the changes that were being proposed by Sebastian uh, in the pom.xml. The version of Spring was being updated. Java version was updated from 1.8 to 21 and the uh, theme leaf dependency was changed right so these were the changes in the pom.xml right so as we have changed these things so as i told you in java 7 uh, support is being removed from java right so what what uh, changes have been done by sebastian in customer uh, custom success handler that we were using servlet ex 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 we were using servlet exception HTTP servlet request, HTTP servlet response. All these things were coming from Java X package. Now it has been changed to Jakarta package, right? So now we are using Jakarta package for all these uh, imports, right? So this was the change in the custom success handler. And then the changes in the spring security as uh, I have already told in the previous, uh, I guess previous video that the support for ant matcher method is being removed and the not being removed I guess the renaming of the matcher method is being done the method is being re renamed to request matcher right so now uh, we have updated the spring security filter chaining method as well 
so here you can see that everything remains the same just that the way is been changed to write the method and the ant matcher is been replaced by request matcher right so request dot request matcher right so all other things i guess uh, remain the same right and just the uh, ant matcher is being changed from uh, ant matcher is been uh, changed to request matcher and the way is being changed to write the filter chaining method so this is just a small change in the spring security config file right and as i said that the persistence package is being removed and uh, java x persistence package is being removed so the support is from jakarta package so in both the entities that is the user entity and the role entity we have used the jakarta package right we have uh, removed the java x persistence package for id table generated type generated value and uh, entity right so now we are using jakarta package same way for the user model as well we have removed the java x persistence dependency and we have moved to jakarta persistence dependency right so these were the small changes that uh, were there as we updated the version of uh, spring and java so i have already merged this pr into my main branch so if you want to check the changes you want to know that what all changes were there you want to run this uh, project so you can uh, take the check out of the branch uh, the main branch of this project the link would be in the description so uh, i just wanted to uh, explain that what all changes were being proposed by the contributor and uh, uh, explain you that when we move from spring version 2x to 3x and java version 1.8 to 21 so while moving while these trans uh, transition is being done for the versions what all changes would be required in the previously made projects right so uh, from now onwards whenever i'll be making the projects i'll be making with these co uh, configurations only uh, the sp spring version would be 3.x and the java version would be 21 right so this was it from this video uh, it was a very small video just an update to the previously made project so hope that you people like share comment on the video and if new to the channel please subscribe and press the bell icon 